I'm Samal Desai. I'm a board certified dermatologist in private and academic practice in Dallas, Texas. I'm here with my friend and colleague, Dr. Ali Golant, who's on the faculty at Mount Sinai Icon School of Medicine, also a board certified dermatologist. And today we had the pleasure of debating each other, right, Ali? I mean, yes, it we was did. it was intense. We were fighting it out on jack inhibitors versus biologics for atopic dermatitis. Do you think you won? Of course I do. I think I won. I think we, we both think we won, but it was super fun. Tell us what we talked about. Sure. So we really tried to break it down um, by three major topics, mechanism of action, safety, and efficacy, um, and really brought it back to how this relates to um, the development of really effective uh, therapies for our patients with atopic dermatitis. Some of the therapies reviewed on the biologic side inclu included dupilumab, trilokinumab, and lebrachizumab, and of course our two oral JAK inhibitors for atopic dermatitis, upatacitinib and abracitinib. One of the things we focused on was onset and speed of action. You know, all of these drugs work. At the end of the day, we both agree we're lucky to have biologics and JAKs. JAK inhibitors tend to work fast in terms of itch relief, onset, efficacy data is strong. Same with the biologics, efficacy data is strong. The question really becomes, what's the best option for your patient? Lab monitoring is important for JAK inhibitors. What do you think about for biologics? Biologics, not required. Biologics obviously uh, differ a bit because they do not have any immunosuppression, so, so uh, you get a little bit more flexibility with how we monitor these patients. Um, but I think we both concluded that these class of medications are really both pivotally critical to the, the therapeutic uh, armamentarium and the way we treat this disease. Um, and we are lucky to have these options at our disposal. Okay, so that I can agree on. I still don't know who One won, thing. but I can agree with you on that. Enjoy the rest of Fall Clinical 2022. Thanks for being here.